Hey, what is going on, guys? Thanks for checking out this video on my sports. Again, Matria. In this video, I'm going to go over an NBA game for Monday, May 10th, 2021. I'm going to show you both sides of each team, and it's going to be up to you to determine who you think will win based on the numbers. I encourage you to add additional information on top of this if needed for you to feel confident in your own pick. And if for some reason you're curious to know who I'm picking in this game, you'll have to join my Patreon while my picks are always in writing, underlined, and italicized. For more information on that, please read the description of this video. Wish you guys the best luck in your pick today. Let's go ahead and get into the game. So there's uh, six games on the board for the NBA, but we're going to look at the Jazz versus the Warriors. Uh, reason being is all the other games, 9-point favorite, 8-point favorite, 9-point favorite, 7-point favorite, 14.5-point favorite. We'll just look at the lowest denominator, 2-point favorite, Jazz versus the Warriors. Um, this one seems like it has the most value, I guess, supposedly, uh, eyeballing it based off of the other games. Unless, of course, you know, one of these big favorites get upset, then obviously that would have the better value. But we're just going to look at the uh, close to a 50-50 pick as we as we can get for NBA today. Jazz and the Warriors. So on this side, I have my daily numbers, date numerology, Gregorian, Hebrew calendar. This side is what I call my game numbers. Away team up top, their season record, their coach record. Head-to-head -head in the middle, home team at the bottom, their season record, their coach record. Jazz versus the Warriors. So Jazz has a couple players that have been out due to injury. Uh, I imagine that's why the line is, is kind of close. Uh, also, Jazz don't do that well on the road based off of their road record. And uh, Warriors seem to be kicking butt at home a little bit. So we're going to look at the Warriors side, and then we're going to look at the Jazz side, and then it's going to be up to you to determine who you like. So let's start with the Warriors. Warriors can get their 36th win today, sitting on 33 losses for the season. Today has 36 state numerology on the Gregorian. This is the Warriors' 33rd home game. Sit on 33 losses in the 33rd home. Then get their 36th win. 36 state numerology on the Gregorian. Warriors coach, he would get his 373rd regular season win for his career. 373 equal or is the 74th prime number. 74. Let me do this. 74. 36. 74 and 36 share two numbers in the four base ciphers, number 53 and 55. Today with 20 date numerology on the Gregorian as well, 20 sums to 55. 55, 55, 53, 74 sums to 53, 55. Warriors can get their 36th win for the season. As their coach gets his 373rd regular season win, the 74th prime number. They sit on 33 losses in their 33 home game. At number 33, at number 33 sums to 66. And uh, Warriors would become 22-11 at home with the win at 22-11. 66 triangular number. Today is a day leaving 119 left on the Hebrew Civil. It's the 191st regular season head-to-head -head matchup between these two, 119, 191, anagrams of each other. Also, Warriors can sit on 119 head-to-head uh, -head losses against the Jazz with a win. Jazz would get their 19th loss for the season as they sit on 19 road wins with the loss. Today, the 130th day on the Gregorian. The number 19 sums to 130. So there's a pretty good narrative here for the Warriors, for the Jazz to lose. On the flip side, though, if we're going to look towards um, the Jazz to win this game, I would say something like it's the 69th game. For the Jazz, it's the 69th game for the Warriors. If we type in 69, 
we see that it sums to 139, the 34th prime number. Warriors can get their 34th loss for the season in their 69th game, and Jazz is 69th game. Warriors play tomorrow as well, and tomorrow is going to be their 34th home game, so they can go into tomorrow's 34th home game with 34 losses for the season. Tomorrow on the calendar is has 12 and 21 date numerology, and if Warriors lose today, they would go into tomorrow's game 21-12, for a home record with the loss today. They would also fall to a 1-2-12-21 look against the Jazz for the season. So they could become 21-12 as they become 1-2 and two, like 12 had to head against the Jazz with the loss. And um, today does have 20 date numerology. Jazz could get their 20 at the road win. Also it's their 34th road game could go along with Warriors getting their 34th loss, 69-69, sums to 139, the 34th prime. Today is the uh, 58th day on the Hebrew religious, a day with 51 date numerology, and the Jazz can get their 51st win for the season in their coach's 551st regular season game, which kind of looks like a 51. Uh, but not only that, with it being the 58th day with 51 date numerology the number 58 sums to 155 which is basically just a reflection of 551 551 58 sums to 155 it's the 551st regular season game for the jazz coach 58 sums to 145 reflections of each other but on top of that the warriors coach he can get his 172nd loss regular season for his career, 172 is just a reflection of two, a reflection of 271, 172, 271. 271 is the 58th prime number, so that could be represented in a reflection manner. 172, 271, the 58th prime. And so that would be the Jazz narrative. So you have two different narratives here. You have the Warriors and the Jazz. Wish you the best of luck on which one you decide to go with. Hopefully this helps. And uh, thank you for watching.